Welcome back everybody to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. So I'm just sitting here in the AFK throne waiting for the next season of Decked Out. <laughs> That's right. Uh, if you haven't heard, Decked Out is over, essentially. At this point, yeah, uh, by the time you watch this video, the, the whole game should be over. So I'm waiting for the next season of Decked Out, which I'm not sure if it's going to be this season of Hermitcraft or next season of Hermitcraft. I've heard Tango say 1.17. Maybe he's going to do another like mini thing this season, revamp the dungeon. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um... But yeah, uh, we did end up completing that quest in the last episode, and unfortunately, we completed it around the time that Decked Out was ramping down, so we still need to figure out what we're going to win. So let's go ahead and get with Tango real quick and see what he has to say. Hypno, Hypno, Hypno. Hey, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good. So uh, we're here because you... I believe, right? You're the one that completed the zombie skeleton bone flesh quest thing, right? I did, and it was not easy. Oh, my so, goodness. All right, yeah, I want to hear about this. Like, what? I'm guessing <sighs> it was the skeletons, right? The skeletons were the worst, because I knew going into it, man, like, that they were just going to constantly be attacking me without any, like, food to heal myself. Oh, right. no. So I was like, oh, let's get a holy hand grenade, because that'll help me. There you go. So I got the skeleton and it fell down like underneath the tower where it drops and I attacked and killed it and used my perfect <laughs> grenade and perfect. the hopper took my drops. Well, you got it though. You got it, right? Yeah, so I, that I had to cool. go back and do it again. Yeah. That's fine. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, you got yeah. it done. It, it was so done. Listen, I mean, you, you probably heard by now, right? That deck down's closing in three days. I know. So, oh. I know. I know. Uh, what are we going to do? Right? I don't know. <laughs> but, but you deserve a reward. So I'm in a weird situation where I don't feel like any reward I give you is meaningful. So I have an idea if you're okay with it. Okay. 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 So, I'm listening. I am going to do decked out again Ooh. when 117 hits. Oh, so and it's going to be bigger and better. It's going to be like multiple levels and you've got all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So okay. here, here is what I would like to give you as the reward. It's kind of an IOU. Aha, future decked out dungeon keys. Yes. So those are five keys that, you know, if it's this season, you can give those back to me. If not, just let me know and remind me. I will give you five keys to decked out next season for free right at the beginning of the season dude that's amazing which i think should be a pretty good head start yeah, i, I think, think so too good. yeah yeah cool. great well that was Excellent. a lot of fun dude you made the best game ever i gotta say i had so much fun and i really appreciate you <laughs> saying that every time a hermit like says that it makes me so happy so thanks i appreciate it so we ended up getting future decked out dungeon keys, which is awesome. Oh, yeah. I hope, I hope, I don't know if it's going to happen, but I hope this season there'll be another decked out, but maybe it'll be next season and season eight. I don't know. But either way, we should have a pretty good advantage now, starting off with five dungeon keys for the next decked out. That's super awesome. All right, guys, so what I want to do now for the puzzle party is I would like to create our own banner. I've seen the HEP banners around, and apparently there's also a resistance banner going around. But yeah, I think it's time for a puzzle party one. Uh, so we're going to need some orange wool to start off with. So I have two already, and then we can just dye some of this here. All right, so now we got six orange wool, and we're going to need one stick. All right, so then we come over here and we make ourselves an orange banner, right? Yep. Pretty simple to do. So now that we have the orange banner, we're going to need to get ourselves a loom. So we put the orange banner into the loom. And the first thing that we want to do with that is we want to put in some green dye and we're going to apply this brick pattern to it. So we're going to have green field masoned, right? All right. So the next one we're going to do is we are going to put some brown dye in and swap that over to the stripes. So we have brown paley. I guess is what that says. Uh, after that, we want to do another brown. And we are going to be doing, I think, this one. Mm, that's the wrong one. That one, I think, is the correct one. Okay, so that is brown per fess inverted, I guess. All right, very good. So after that one, we need to start in with some cyan dye. Yeah, so cyan, we're going to do, let's see. 
I can never remember the correct one. I think it's probably because this is state scrolled down. Yeah, this is the one we want to do here. So this one's going to be Cyan Chief. Okay, so then we'll do another one, another Cyan, and I think it's on the bottom side. That is not the right one, not the right one. This one. Okay, so there we go, Cyan Base. And then finally, we will grab this guy. There it is. So this is the Cyan Board Door, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so with all of that done, we got ourselves a Podzol Banner. Ooh, that's so awesome. And what's better than one puzzle banner? Many puzzle banners. So here in the shopping district, we have the HEP banner, which somebody placed a resistance banner over. But honestly, what about puzzle? What about puzzle? I'll just throw one right there and one right there. We're not going to try and put it on top of the other banners, but we just want people to remember puzzle. Hi, Hypno. Hey, how's it going, Beef? Oh man, it's going great. Do you see do you see what they did to me? The spookification chamber. I I see what you are. <laughs> but don't <laughs> do you see what I am? Don't look at me. I I'm see, horrible. I see what you are. You're horrifying. You are <laughs> you are Hypno from the Pokemon <laughs> Hypno of the Pokemon variety. That is so cool. I love it. Honestly. You, you like my ears? Those are like my my best part, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the ears are fantastic. Oh man. Okay, that spookification chamber is is great. Anyway, we have a job to do today. Yes, we do. This by the way, great job on the banner. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Very original. Um I, I came up with it 100% myself. I know, I know you did. It looks <laughs> really, really good. And this is the this is the location of our little um Podzel party cabin, the PPC. I like the, to call it the PPC. I'm down with that. Um, so I brought this. I think I think this is going to be enough stuff for us to build with. Ooh, I like it. Right. Um. So I guess I guess uh, let's let's get started. Let's I mean, do it. I I'll, I'll maybe lay just lay down like a rough a rough uh thing here let's go with uh one two three four mm, five six seven by two three four five six seven oh right like, the seven I, by seven i like that block you just placed that was good <laughs> i'm doing a great job placing blocks you are All right so i think this is big enough i mean we don't need no giant fancy thing oh Iskal, poor Oops. you <laughs> yeah, we don't need no giant hep center or some secret mycelium headquarters. This, this is enough for us. We're <laughs> humble in our love of Podzel. That's right. We don't need a giant mansion. Hypno, great job, buddy. Thanks, dude. I couldn't Look have done it all myself. You helped a little bit. <laughs> uh, just a little tiny just bit. Just a little bit. It looks incredible. The Podzel Party headquarters, the, the, or the Podzel Party cabin, the PPC, the PPH, whatever you want to call it, it always starts with the PP. I think that's a saying somewhere. It it's, always it's starts be. with PP. Um, <laughs> look at this. It looks so good, man. It's amazing. It's a work of art. Let's go take a closer look at, at this wonderful building that everybody is sure to be a part of. I think, um, check it out. You go up here, you got some, got some retaining walls. You got some puzzle, puzzly platforms here. Some nice cobbly stairs. Look at this entrance. How inviting is this? This is just inviting me straight into the house. I, it's amazing, dude. It's incredible. And then you come in here, boom, our meeting center. Wow. This right? is this is it. Every, this is the spot. Everybody's gonna want to come here. We're gonna have to expand. The place to be. But you know, you know how you expand. How's that? You gotta spread the word, my friend. Here, let me Ooh. show you what I got. What I got cooking. Are you ready for this? Okay. Okay. A little propaganda. Oh, look at that! Huh? <laughs> what about Podzel? What He's about Podzel? I think we have to start spreading this poster around, really get some recruits. I mean, not that we need recruits. Me and you were enough for anybody, really, you know? I, I think so. I mean, everybody at home, you are enough. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need anybody else. And then, of course, these wonderful banners behind us. This is a, this is a wonderful place. I'd I would love to hang out here more often. Just two dudes hanging out in a pee, -pee cabin in the woods. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> The trick or treat house costumes required. Ooh, this sounds awesome. Trick or treat. 
press ceiling button inside, it is recommended to store all items before trick or treating. All right, are we gonna get a trick or are we gonna get treated? What do we get? Ooh, ooh, I've been treated. Nice, what did I get? I got a shulker full of nether quartz. Oh, that's awesome. But I kind of want to press it again. What is the trick? So we know what the treat is. Hmm. Do we press it again? I want to try it. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, so we are in an obsidian, a crying obsidian room. Oh, I got a book. Um, you have two minutes to live. See that item in the left barrel? Use the items in the right barrel to make the same item. Put your new item in the center barrel, exit through the back. Okay, so we have to make yellow wool. We have to put it in that barrel, and then this is the stuff that we need in order to make yellow wool. All right, so cobweb. Uh, can we make... Oh, I understand. I get it. Okay. Uh, so we have to make a crafting table, right? So crafting table. And then we have to make ourselves a wooden sword. I was trying to figure out how we were going to turn cobweb into wool. But yeah, we do this. Then we can break it with the sword to get string. Turn the string into wool. So there's that. Awesome. And then we need dirt, sunflower, bone meal. So dirt, sunflower, uh, bone meal. I guess I don't really need to do that, but anyway, we could have just used the sunflower directly. So there's yellow wool. That's what we need, right? Yellow wool. All right, all right. And can I get out of here? I kind of want to take this stuff with me. It sounds like that timer. <laughs> oh boy. See if I can grab all this stuff and get out of here before anything bad happens. What, what actually happens? It sounds like that is definitely, definitely, definitely getting faster. Oh man, that is so creepy sounding. Uh, okay, that's what happens. <laughs> oh, did it blow up the pressure plate? Uh, oh, I made a big mistake. I made a big mistake. Okay, uh, I need to fix this. So this trick or treat house is super, super cool. So it either gives you a reward of a shulker full of items. Whoops, I didn't mean to break that. Either gives you a reward of items or it makes you go into a chamber down below and you are pressured to craft something for some random materials. And if you don't, you die. <laughs> well, thankfully we got a relatively easy craft. So that was super awesome. Yeah, this is a great uh, trick or treat design in Pulse and Tango. Thanks for letting me check that out. Also, if you guys are wondering, the exit for that place, I think was over here. It's over here somewhere in these bushes. <laughs> Maybe it's around, oh, it's right here. There it is. Yeah, this is the ladder up from the exit. All right, guys, so decked out is now basically closed. It's not officially closed, but basically closed. Um, but I saw that Stress was offering artifacts, right? All we had to do is go over to Frankenstein's monster mouth and press a couple of buttons. Well, she had an artifact that I wanted. I don't remember exactly which one it was. I think it was a rare item. We come over here and take a look at my barrel. It's probably one that hasn't been submitted yet. Yeah, I think it was enchanting set rare or baking set rare. One of those two. Anyway, um, so that helped me complete another set here. So I have two sets ready to go and then i've already submitted i think three or four more sets on top of that so whatever our point standing is we are getting like five or six more points by the time decked out ends uh so yeah it looks like we're gonna have like 10 ish points i think anyway that's gonna be pretty cool i'd like to see what the final standing is uh etho has 19 points right now and i saw over here uh that his light was on so who knows how many points he's gonna have by the time this is all said and done it's kind of crazy but anyway let's head over to stress's frankenstein's monster this thing looks awesome <laughs> all right so inside frankenstein's monster we had this board here yeah and it basically you just 
take whichever paper which was assigned to the item that you wanted and then rename it to your name. So yeah, that's the one that I took, whichever one was right there in the top center. Uh, but yeah, it said that we had to press this button, then this button, which gave us this paper. Thank you for signing up to play. Follow the hyperlink last portal. So this is going, I, I guess we signed up to uh, check out her haunted mansion thing. So let's go head over to that. So this is it. Looks pretty spooky. There's monsters all around. Spider. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's take a look at this. Signs for gray. Signs for your grave is in here. Okay, so there's different signs. Green. Okay, so it looks like nobody has touched these over here. And these are the graves of people who have played it, I guess. So what is in this? Ooh. Okay. Um, it looks like there is this powder in everybody's one except for greens. I'm not sure what that's all about. Anyway, um, all right. So that's what this is looking like. I am super excited to check this out. So let's go inside here. I'm sure there's going to be rules. Some, is this it? Okay. So I just got done reading this entire sign. So essentially we have to pick a class, go through, find trinkets, and we want to find a unique type of trinket. I just heard something make a footstep sound. I'm not, hopefully that wasn't a creeper. Uh, pumpkin pies, let's take those. And then we can choose between an archer, a warrior, or a tank. So archer, it looks like we're limited to 10 arrows each. Hmm, warrior, you get a stone ax. Uh, that's more, that's more my thing. And then tank, it looks like you get a stone hoe or leather pants. Okay, well, I think we are going to go with this. <laughs> Are actually, you know what? I'm gonna put that right here because I'm used to pressing number three to select a weapon. Okay, so we need to go through every inch trying to find uh, trinkets. We're supposed to hit buttons. We're supposed to do all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, let's get going here. So I guess we'll start this way. Nothing here, just a cobweb <laughs> getting us stuck. All right, up we go. Do I want to start up on the second level? Hmm, maybe I, yeah, you know what? I think we'll do this. All right. So the stairs goes up further. There's an outside here. Uh, there's a barrel. Aha! Magic crystal. Okay. So we got ourselves our first trinket. Awesome. I don't think the sign said how many trinkets in total there were. Is there like a thing? Oh! <laughs> I was going to say, is there a thing here that we can go through? Yes. Okay. So witch's hand. Don't go into the lava. I, I swear I'm hearing footsteps around and it's freaking me out. Uh, all right. So anything out here, can we just kind of walk around the outside? I wonder, is there like hidden barrels out here? It didn't say that we had to stay within like the mansion itself that we couldn't just go explore the outside. I don't think I read a rule that said that. So I wonder if there's any like hidden barrels out here somewhere. Not seeing any. All right. Well, we looked. Get back inside the mansion. So there is a chest. Nothing in the chest. All right. So we have a door here. A bunch of buttons. Another chest. More buttons. A lectern that we can't do anything with. More buttons. Okay. So this door has to open somehow. I hear a zombie now. Uh... That doesn't appear to do anything. What's behind the iron door? That's what I want to know. What is behind the iron door? That's a button that doesn't appear to do anything. More buttons, levers, switches. All right, not seeing anything. I think this room is pretty much done. Maybe we'll find something in another room that'll allow us to check that out. Okay, I'm going to keep following the left-hand wall here. And, oh, that's the other side. Wait. Okay, I think I get this. So you press this button here, and it opens up the trap door. Or at least that's what it sounds like, right? It sounds like something opens up over here. And then this is the iron door that we were looking through. It's like, how do I get through here? There's a button on here. So I think we do this, get through... Aha! Spider silk. Got it. <laughs> okay, so we figured it out. Uh, 
Not not that bad, I guess, but just took a little bit of like walking around and remembering where things were. All right, so back in this room, I don't know if there's anything else here since we already looked at something. Looks like we can go out on the balcony. I'm pretty sure we've already seen everything out here, yeah? Unless there is like one of the walls is a barrel or something and I'm just <laughs> oblivious to that. No, it looks like we got it all. All right, so let's keep heading over here. Again, we're still following the left-hand wall. All right, there's a puffer fish player detector thing. Uh, I don't really want to try and get over there unless I can walk behind this painting. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can do that, so... I'm not going to go that way. Uh, we got stairs going up. I kind of want to keep checking out what's on this floor before uh, we move up. So let's do that. So here's another room. A good night's sleep makes the day complete. P.S. Do not jump on bed. I kind of want to jump on the bed. <laughs> not going to lie. Uh, this is a big... Whoa. Okay. I was going to say there's a big painting here. Is there something hidden behind it? So why can't I jump on the bed? I, I jumped on it. There's snow there. Oh! Aha! So here we go. Chilling fingers. So this one, there's a redstone block underneath this. The door opens and closes immediately, like as soon as you activate the redstone, and then it's a random wait to wait for the door to open and close again when the redstone block stops glowing. Hmm. Well, anyway... Uh, after spending a bunch of time in here, we got ourselves the Chilling Fingers, which is cool. So let's move on. Alright, so the next room... Here's a barrel. Prickly Cube. Alright, so we got a couple of doors here. Is there a barrel? There is a barrel in there, so there's gotta be a way to open this. And I'm assuming probably from the other side. There's two paintings here. I cannot jump in between them. There's a chest. More doors. There's a barrel there. I can't just right click through there, unfortunately. Uh. Oh. Sneaky. Okay. So that's why that was open before. It's because of that puffer fish sensor. Alright, so there is more stuff this way, and I don't think I checked this chest before. Anything below this? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so this way is a trap, and under here there's nothing of interest. Um, There's still that painting there I'm not so sure about. And there's a cobweb here too, okay. That might just be there for decoration. I guess at this point we can assume we're done with this path, so we'll follow this way around now. Uh, so there is a barrel right there. I see a whole bunch of buttons. Those don't appear to do anything. Uh, there's a crafting table here. I think that's just decoration. I don't think there's any reason to climb up on these ladders. So in this room, this says, if back is front, then left is right, who decides that right is right? I feel like this is a trap in here. Oh, okay. Magic wand. Oh, there's a button in there too. I wonder if that button opens this door or something. All right, so let's try that. Press that. Aha, so that opened up this door here. All right, so we got this one. I don't think... Oh, there's there's possibly something right there. It's hard to see. We'll try that one more time, see if we can get in there and see if we can find something interesting. So that opens this. That opens this. Is there a way out of here? Okay, so there is a button. Uh, there's a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> All right, so that button just gets us back out of here. Oh, okay, you know what? I think we've seen in here then. 
Is that everything that we were... There's this room right here that we haven't seen yet, I don't think, right? So there needs to be some way to get into here. Maybe it's the other button. Aha! I figured one of these was probably going to be a trap. <laughs> Is there anything else in here worth noting? No, okay. So, button buttons everywhere. Uh, I'm going to stand right here and press this button. That did a thing. Is it? Oh, okay. So it's this. That one doesn't do anything. What is up there? Huh. Okay. Not seeing anything. So press this. And we have a soiled goodie. I can see a couple of chests in there. I think we might have been in this room already. Yeah, there's a door. Uh, so we got two buttons. Uh oh, I hear lava. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm about right where we started uh, before we died. So there is our items so far. And yeah, we got some more things to look at. We got a bunch of buttons here. So I'm noticing that there's different colored buttons. I don't trust anything. I'm going to stand up on on this kind of between two blocks. Okay. So there's obviously one button that does something here. But what that button does, I'm not sure. Is it a... Oh, so check that out. If I do this, then that. Aha, okay. There we go. Witch's nose, awesome. Sweet. All right, so there's other buttons in here. I wonder if anything else does anything. I wonder if the combination of these two does anything else. Yeah, probably not. That's the only one that I hear moving a piston, so I'm just going to assume that's the only one that does anything with that. Uh, so over here, yeah, we've already been down this path. We are following along this wall now. Man, there's so many zombies somewhere. <laughs> uh, more buttons. Buttons. There's a button at the end of this on this barrel. Really? <laughs> Dang it! Alright guys, so I went ahead and I got everything up until like about the last point where we died. Yeah, don't press that button right there because that drops you down. But there was a barrel right here. Got some blood caps and I also discovered behind this painting in here. Uh, I got brain matter from one of these. Azuma is also playing at the same time, but I don't think that really is going to interfere with what we're doing. Uh, we just got to know that he's around and maybe not do something. <laughs> maybe not do something that will give him a hint or a clue or whatever, because I don't want to take away from his experience. He's watching me. Just kind of checking behind these paintings. Okay, there's nothing there. Moving on, and... Uh, use what you have got and don't fall. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I assume we're throwing items onto these pressure plates. Oh. Okay, so something happened. All right, try that again. Oh, there's a barrel down there. I got one. Gruesome goo. Nice. <laughs> Lots of traps and tricks in here. All right, so we got to look around and see if there's any other barrels and stuff like that. Uh, nothing up in there. Okay, just kind of looking. I don't know if Azuma got the item, but I assume he did. Okay, so we're going to continue following along this path here right behind Azuma. Oh, there's a witch. Oh yeah, that's the lava trap, so don't go that way. So I think we have seen everything here, question mark. Let's keep going down the stairs. Where does this take us out? 
Oh yeah, okay, so we went up the stairs here, and we came out over here. Although I think the stairs over here went up higher. I'm not sure if we already saw everything. Yeah, we did the carpet. This goes up even higher. Okay, so we got something else here. Looking for barrels. Oh. So that door just opened. Oh, there's redstone right here that opens it. Ah. And up here. Oh. Not sure what that sound was. I think that, that might be a Zuma playing with a button or something. Oh, well, we did get an item over here, which is good. Thought I just saw a barrel under there. I did not. Uh, I definitely want to keep looking around the outside, though, for any other hidden things. I'm not sure if uh, Stress was hiding things outside. Oh. Oh. There's a zombie there caught in fire. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just kind of want to just poke around and look and see if we can find anything else. So, so far we have gotten, what is that, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 items? I'm sure there's more stuff for us to find. Uh, I think there was a lower portion of this that we never went to. Alright, so we haven't checked out this room at all yet. Uh, there's carpet here, there's buttons, toilet. What is this? There's a banner here for some reason. Is that banner like covering up a button? I don't see a button there. Gotta make sure we press all of these. Okay. Is there something sneaky about this painting? Doesn't look like it. So somehow we need to get through here and there's lava in the floor there. There's a button right there, a button right there. Uh, and an arrow pointing down, so somehow there's a thing that we need to do is that underneath the carpet is another redstone block, maybe? No, that didn't do anything. Hmm. All right, well this room here, this is on the, uh, the main level, you go down the stairs. This room right here, the only thing I could find so far is behind this painting, there was this. You press that button, there's a barrel there. And we ended up getting this brittle bone, but I see underneath the carpet here, there's redstone that's glowing. I think there's a redstone block there. And then there's this door here with a barrel behind it. So I don't know how to get back there. I don't know if I have to wait for this redstone block to stop glowing, and then I can go back there. Uh, I press all the buttons. Oh. So that made a sound. So do I have to do like button, button, and then this? No. <laughs> uh, so I'm not sure how to get back there behind that particular door. Anyway, let's move on. I don't want to spend like my entire life here. <laughs> All right, so more buttons. Check behind. Oh, there is something behind the painting. And just lava. Okay, nothing there. Check behind this one. All right. Oh, there is a thing here, though. Zombie brain. Nice. All right. More buttons. I'm going to stand up on here before I press buttons. Uh, I don't trust anything. All right. So we check back behind these paintings or behind this painting. Yeah. What's the chance that this is going to be uh, be fun? That button doesn't appear to do anything. It's a decoy button. Actually, it might do something. I have no idea what it does, though. Uh, check back behind this one. Two of two. Two of two what? Oh, maybe there's a combination. Maybe I have to find another secret. Press this button after, and then that opens that door? Maybe. Or maybe that opens this door. I'm not sure. We're going to keep looking, though. Anything behind this painting? Doesn't look like it. All right. All right. One of one of two. I think if I press it, I'm going to stand on a block that has a torch on it. I can only imagine that this is going to be another lava trap. Uh, I'm going to stand right here. This block. There's nothing there. All right. So I pressed one of two. 
And then this is two of two over here. Do they both have to be pressed at the same time, or is there a time limit? I don't think it's possible for one player to hit both of these. Oh, oh, there it is. All right, so there is poison sweet. Poison sweet. Okay, well, we did the thing. Um, More buns to press. Check behind this painting, because I don't think I've checked behind this one yet. And these... Okay, I think we have successfully cleared this room. So now we are left with this hallway. This is the last of things that I can see that we can get to. Nothing there. So there is a ladder to get up on this balcony. There is a button. Button. I think those are decoy buttons though, and they don't appear to do anything. Oh. Oh. Aha! Fedora. Okay, very good. So we found that one. Let's move on. Uh, there is stairs that go down there. We'll check that out a little bit later. Nothing in that chest. And there is the two iron doors here. Oh, look at all these buttons. Oh, there's buttons everywhere. What does this button do? Nothing. <laughs> buttons, buttons everywhere. Oh, 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 oh. Mandrake. Okay, well, we got that one. So now we have, what is it? Uh, 19 items? 18 plus one. Okay, very good. Press the rest of these, see if we hear anything else. Oh, there's a zombie. Um, I think I'm allowed to kill zombies, right? Because that's why we were given weapons. Yes, I can eat this pumpkin pie now. All right, keep going down. Ooh, this is going all the way down. I hear fire. We must be getting close to something. Okay, so there is zombie back there. Ooh. So there's buttons behind these doors. Which had... Um, okay. Another witch head. Is there something up here? Oh, there is a button. That opened up something this way. Oh, this door right here. Don't touch me. Oh. It's not touching me. I guess I have to be in water for that guy to want to touch me. Was I not supposed to kill that zombie before? Ah, oh, I hope I was. I hope I didn't like ruin everything. Follow my lead. Ding, ding, ding. I sound like I did a thing. Is that the right combination? Oh. <laughs> okay, I think I did it. So we got ourselves a mega torch. All right, so we got the button in there. Um So this room here, there's still something that we need to do. And what that something is, I'm not actually sure, but it might not be something particularly that way. I open a trinket, a trinket opens me. What does that say? Choose wisely, sunrise. A wrong choice is your demise. I open a trinket. A trinket opens me. That I don't actually know. Huh. I wasn't expecting you to have to figure out a riddle. Huh. That block looks different for some reason. 
All right, let's keep checking out what else is here. You know what? I wonder if there's like a block update detector or something on any of those redstone dust. Probably not. What's back here? You know, if I had a bow and arrow, I could probably shoot that button. Let's keep uh, checking this place out. So we got button, 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 three doors. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna stand right here. Scarecrow's nose. Azuma tried to swim in lava. Oh no! I'm gonna stand on this when I press this button. There is a pressure plate right there, though. What does this say? I've. Oh, hey. Okay. We are so dead. Wow. Um, I advise you to take your time. Yeah, thanks for that advice. <laughs> oh boy. I don't want to die. Not like this. If I can just leave with my current trinkets, I think I would like to leave with my current trinkets and just turn them in. This is too much with no armor. <laughs> I don't want to have to go through all of this again. Okay, I think this is where we exit. I'm fine with our current point standing. Okay, guys, so here we go. Here lies Hypno, a brave soul. And the items that we're going to be turning in, not those, not that. But yeah, we ended up getting 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 unique items. That's pretty good, right? I know we probably could have gotten more, but the fact that all those zombies were swarming us, yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Uh, I had a lot of fun checking out this game though. Stress, you did an amazing job. Thank you so much. I'll put this stuff in here too for, for stress. <laughs> I know that doesn't count as my actual points, but, uh, now it looks, seemed like a lot of people were placing this powder back and then jumping out. I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not, but I'm doing that. Um, anyway, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for this awesome game stress. That was awesome. And with that, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap the episode up here for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.